Hello, my name is Augusto Herman. My name is Ashley Caspin. We do open data platforms for free. And the platform we're using is CCAN. This is my first time working on an open source project and it's been really fascinating to see how the community's grown and expanded and is really just invested in building a, a product that works for so many people and is repeatable, sustainable, and delivering on the needs of the open government community. I'm involved with CCAN uh, for a long time, like 2009. I started uh, the localization for Brazilian Portuguese at that time uh, and also made some minor contributions uh, like uh, opened some tickets, uh, actual code is very little in fact, but I love Sikin for a long time a fan of Sikin. I got started with CCAN because it was the product that we were using internally to the government of Canada. And then I got really involved because I was curious about how we can build a more sustainable CCAN, uh, build out a roadmap, and contribute better to the core of CCAN. When we decided to make an open it port on 2010, 2011 actually, um, CCAN was a natural choice. We used only free software. We had a small team of three people, and uh, hello there, the, our former members, Nitai, Christian. Uh, we, we, we didn't have a budget, and we somehow had to get this done. And around that time, uh, the open government partnership was starting, and we knew this concept of open government. Uh, of collaboration, participation, so we decided to experiment and we opened up the process uh, inviting anyone who was interested would like to to participate in building the Brazilian Open Data Portal, dados.gov.br. The European Data Portal Hub is the metadata made available in public data portals across Europe and to do that we actually need a platform to host our own catalog. And the platform we're using is CCAN. And we made that decision a while back uh, when we we're specifying what it is that this portal would have to contain. And we made that selection, why? Uh, because we want to go for something which is open source and we want to go for something that actually has a community behind it. And here we believe that for data portals across Europe, most of them actually do use CCAN. And those who did not are actually considering using CCAN or have moved to CCAN since we started defining our specifications a couple of years back. And yeah, I would say this is the solution that we use. It's got a huge amount of benefits. It's also, it's also got a few concerns that we're going to address together, hopefully by making our requirements a bit more explicit and seeing how we can build that further through the CCAN community to make sure that uh, all of this is future proof. I think the biggest challenge working with CCAN has been trying to identify what CCAN is, so the full scope of it, and it can do so many things. It's compatible with so many different products. We have so many really interesting people working on it, and so the options are endless, but really trying to better define what it does so that there's not a lot of scope creep is something that I think uh, has been one of the biggest challenges. Since we started so early, we had some difficulty uh, with uh, porting over uh, the old version to a new version of CCN. Uh, not, not because of CCN specifically, but because we also use, for the content management part, we use WordPress. Uh, and we have a custom theme. And uh, if you are into the technical side of CCAN, you might know that uh, at version 2, CCAN changed the template languages and that broke a lot of things uh, in our <laughs> theme. 
that has had to be redone. Uh, so it was a lot of work to a lot of work to port everything over to the new version. I, over the next three years, would love to see CCAN really grow and expand and be a sustainable solution for governments, businesses, organizations to use to collect, manage, and release their data. I'd also really like to see how interoperable it is with other products like visualizations and dashboard tools um, so that people can really use it to make evidence-based decisions, whether it's for government, academia, otherwise. Um, and with that, I think that really defining a better governance um, for open source projects, especially in this uh, multilateral space, uh, will be really, really fascinating. I think that it's been nice uh, the way Sikhen is modular with the extensions. So usually when someone needs something, that's the first thing we do is look up in the list of extensions. If there's one already that does what we need, if not, uh, someone develops, you develop one and you share it. And that's also been nice how we, we can um, use this free software environment to uh, not spend uh, time and effort and money uh, wasted and duplicating efforts. We really uh, share things. And so uh, I think that uh, that's been working and that's what I expect to, to keep it working, to, to, to keep to keep it that way. That's good. <laughs> In terms of next steps, we're seeing three things. We're seeing a performance issue that we like to see handled, mainly because we've got 640,000 metadata records right now, and that's a lot. So CCAN for small, uh, small portals is very easy to use, but the moment you've actually got that level of data, and you need to plug it into tools regarding multilingualism, and et cetera, we're facing a few performance issues. And that is definitely something we can outline in terms of making our requirements slightly more public and open so you can understand what is needed to bring uh, CCAN to the next level. Not only for us, because I would say, we're maybe one of those big, big portals that aggregate a lot of open data, at least reference the metadata, but more portals are looking into the tens of thousands of data sets, or even some uh, Inspire-based geospatial data, have got 150,000 data sets, so this performance issue is perhaps something that other portals will be facing. I would also say that on the search function aspects, well, the benefits is that CCAN comes along with the search function. But again, well, the more data you have, the more searches you get that can be irrelevant, and the more you would actually like to have a, smart, a, a very smart way of searching your data. Finally, I would say that uh, we've got the DCAT application profile in Europe, which is an application profile that looks into different metadata classes. And we're trying to push that forward in terms of standards to force interoperability, but also the use of controlled vocabularies to make sure that what we're calling or what we're labeling across Europe in different languages is actually recognizable. We need to find more ways to actually make that, make CCAN work locally. So you know, we're, we've been very active in the English market, but that's our, our home base. But if you're in Spain right now, for example, um, there's just no good way to support local government in Spain if you're in England. So we need to find more and help people locally to make the best of CCAN, help governments and, and, and citizens in their region to get the most out of CCAN um, and ensure that CCAN ha is the one and most viable option. And that's where, we, where we're going. I think uh, meeting a lot of people, uh, many of which I didn't I only knew uh, by uh, exchanging emails or GitHub or <laughs> other uh, meeting. We finally get to talk to them in person. It's real nice. Uh, also, uh, all the talks I've seen so far uh, are interesting. We get new ideas. Uh, it's it's been. A uh, really interesting experience, I, I think.
a lot of energy. I got a lot of energy out of IRC. It's, 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 I find it amazing how many people are actually excited about open data, the fact that it keeps growing from year to year. Um, in fact, it's actually professionalizing in a way that I think a lot of people wouldn't have expected even five or 10 years ago. Um, there are actually people re solving problem, real problems with open data. So it's not just an academic exercise or a of you know democratization and all these wonderful things which are very important but actually make a difference you know there was a good there was a tweet yesterday it was how we said open data without impact is just entertainment and i think that's that, that's the case i think there's a lot of people here are really committed to making actual change with open data i think that's like what i got out of it more than anything else